in thinking about what is going on in the world today, I want to draw certain parallels. Uh, I began my practice doing psychotherapy, and in recent years I also do corporate consulting. And I've learned some very interesting things in the course of doing corporate consulting which bear upon our interests tonight. But I want to tell you a little bit about this. Uh, I don't know about you, a lot, most of you are younger than me, so this understanding may have come to you more easily. But I remember in the early 1980s trying to find out what in hell do people mean by an information economy? Now this is early 1980s. I mean, I hear people talking about the new importance of information, the new importance of ideas. And I kept saying, well, but weren't ideas and information important in an industrial <laughs> society? So it took me some time to understand how profound is the change from an industrial economy to an information economy in which wealth is no longer land as in an agricultural economy, it's no longer uh, factories, capital goods, or even money as it was in an industrial economy. It's now knowledge, innovation, ideas. And suddenly we're living in a world in which everybody's chief capital asset is what they carry between their ears. And this has consequences. And during the 1980s, if you follow the business literature, a lot of articles were written talking about uh, the fact that workers now needed much higher levels of training and much higher levels of education. Uh, obedience no longer was worth much in the marketplace. Manual labor had a smaller and smaller and smaller market. This was the age of the knowledge worker, and knowledge workers needed continuous education and continuous training. And as I was reading this, I had a kind of an epiphany, and I thought, Jesus, they're missing something very important. It's perfectly true that people need new levels of training and education, etc. But it's also true that an information economy demands of people a higher level of psychological development than an industrial economy because in an industrial economy practically most of the jobs you get the training in a very few months and then you just apply it indefinitely into the future. In an information economy with the sum total of human knowledge doubling roughly every six to ten years, with new knowledge, new scientific discoveries, new technological breakthroughs happening at an accelerating rate, where the rate of change itself is happening at a faster and faster and faster and faster speed, ten seconds after you learn something that's on its way to obsolescence, it's an entirely new kind of world which has got fantastic exciting opportunities if you're a thinking self-responsible human being but if you're not it's scary as hell now I believe that worldwide one of the reasons for this resurgence of religious fundamentalism and tribalism and racism is because people are scared they don't necessarily know why they're scared but they're scared there is a apprehension at some level that the world is changing, changing very rapidly, changing in a way that it's very hard for the average person to understand. And the ground underneath most people's feet feels shaky, even if they can't explain why. They know that the old rules and the old games aren't matching current realities even if they can't explain any of it. And I believe that there is a worldwide subterranean anxiety problem caused by this apprehension that we're in a time of escalating change without a clear picture of what it's all evolving toward.